Have you ever been taught how to fuel your airplane? No worries if not. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. First things first, we need to chalk the aircraft and remove the fuel cap. The next thing that we need to do is we need to ground the aircraft. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab these clamps. This is our grounding cable. And I'm gonna walk over to the airplane and ground it at the tie down hook, but any bare metal surface could work. Before we do our next step, which is paying for our fuel, we want to double, triple check that we are parked in front of the pump that says Avgas 100 low lead. After ensuring that you're parked at the right pump, we're just gonna go ahead and follow the prompts here on the screen. So I always make sure to fill up by the gallon amount. If you go ahead and push this fill up button on the screen, You'll sometimes be charged upwards of $250 on your credit card statement. You will get this money back, but who likes seeing extra money on their credit card bill? Now that we have paid for our fuel, all we need to do now is turn the pump on. Since we are fueling an RV, we don't have to worry about getting the ladder out to reach the top of the wing, as you would have to do in a high wing aircraft like a Cessna 172. If you were fueling a high wing aircraft, you would follow these exact steps, except you would be standing up on a ladder. It's important to not rest the nozzle anywhere as this could cause damage. It also helps to hold the hose straight over your shoulder so the nozzle stays straight up and down. While you're fueling, it's important to control the flow of fuel to avoid splashing and to watch the fuel level to avoid overflow. So now that I'm done fueling, I'm just gonna put the cap right back on. So now all we have to do is walk the hose back to the pump. We're actually going to use this little black button here on the side of the hose reel. This will help us get the hose back onto the reel. It makes it a lot easier. And when you're using this black button, it's important to feed the hose back onto the reel as evenly as possible. Next up, we have to remove the grounding cable and put it back on its reel. So one of the most important things that you need to do after putting gas in your airplane is to sump the fuel to make sure you don't have any contaminants. Last but certainly not least, make sure to grab that receipt, you're ready to fly. <laughs>